Hey everyone, welcome to the first ever podcast that I'm going to make by myself today. And I'm going to be making it about Fortnite, so here goes nothing. Hey guys, just a quick reminder to like the video, subscribe, leave a comment if you uh, have any questions for the next podcast. Enjoy the podcast. So we're going to start off by me talking about the item shops. They've been okay. We've seen a few unique things, but most of them have been 30 day old items. I feel like the featured sometimes is unique and has 30 day old items, which you need a mix, so that's good. But what I think they should do is add more unique stuff in the daily as well, because the daily is normally where all that 30 day old stuff is at. And we don't really see any unique emotes either. And I think we see too many dualies, because dualies are just all the same basically to me. I feel like most of them sound the same. They don't all look the same, some of them are unique, but most of them sound the same in my opinion. If you have a balance between like the 30 day old stuff and then some unique stuff and then some random stuff, I think that's good. Random would probably be the best because if you keep bringing back um, really old stuff, then it will get really boring. So that's enough about item shops for recently. Like there's been a lot of new stuff. That's not really a problem. It's just like if you spread it out, like then you would have more time to make skins. But if you make them all at once, you'd have to like make skins constantly to stay consistent. But that's all right. I still like new stuff all the time. It makes the item shops more expensive. But, I don't know, I want to hear from you guys. Does bringing out something new make it okay to make the whole shop just 30-day old items? I'm not sure, but I don't really think so. I think it should be unique, but it's okay. So that's enough about item shops. Let's talk about current weapon pool in Fortnite. I think it's alright. I don't think it's too good. I think it's uh, too balanced. It has a little bit of the fun stuff that we want, but not enough. And it has enough balanced weapons for the competitive players i think everyone should agree on having two different loot pools for arena and just casual pubs just don't make it too crazy like season x i think a nice um balance would be like season four five six loot pool kind of stuff that was really fun those were the days they were really really fun i think the pump is really good and i'm kind of sad that it was vaulted But the charge shotgun's great as well. I kind of just wish we had, like, the pump, the charge, and the tack, and possibly maybe the drum shotgun or something. Just a quick reminder, all these podcasts are going to be pretty short. I'm not going to make them, like, hour-long podcasts. I take a lot of inspiration from my brother's podcast, so I'm going to make them similar to his, like, maybe at max, like, 25 minutes, like, lowest 10 minutes, 7 minutes, I don't know. So they're kind of like a podcast commentary mesh kind of thing. All right, now back to talking about the loot pool. I don't have much to say about it, but I think the burst is a little overpowered, like, if you get the mythic one but the blue gray and green bursts are just so bad and then once you get to the purple burst it's like better than a purple scar in my opinion i would still take a scar over it just because that's my preference but i do think the burst ever since it's uh ads has been boosted like how much you zoom in uh, I think it's a little bit better, but just not in my preference. And also, there's, like, no bloom on it from what I've realized. All right, so that's a good, um, that's good for the loot pool. Let's talk about the whole Apple and Fortnite situation. I haven't really looked into it that much because it's really just some boring business arguments, disagreements. Um, there's a lot of drama. I couldn't really care less. Honestly, I just feel bad for the iOS players. It doesn't affect me, but for the iOS players, that must really stink because you just can't really play. And I don't know how they're going to make it so you stay on 13.4, but that's kind of weird because, like, who are you going to be playing against? Only iPhone users? Are new skins going to come out? How are the item shops going to work? Are they going to be different? Will they have to stick with the, um, if they're doing no updates, will they not be able to do cross-platform? There's just a lot of questions about it. I heard that there's something up with, like, Google Play or something. I don't know. That might not be true, but they could have, um, some beef with them, too. But I don't really know. 
I just want to briefly talk about that, and now let's get into talking about the whole V-Bucks discount. I think it's great. V-Bucks, to me, have always been a little overpriced, so um, it's great that they're making it cheaper. I don't really understand fully why, just because I haven't researched it really, but I think it's pretty cool. Fortnite's being generous, that's nice. Uh now let's talk about Party Royale. Is um, Party Royale fun? I'd have to say I haven't tried it enough to know. But the concerts and stuff could be more exciting. It's nice that we're getting free concerts, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not gonna take them for granted, but it's cool that we're getting free concerts. It's just not really my type of music normally, and uh, they're just kind of hard to sit through, in my opinion. But if you like the music, that's awesome. Just keep listening to it. But it's also really cool that we got to, like, watch Inception, which is a free movie. Normally, you have to pay to go see a movie. So that's really cool. I heard that you can play soccer there. I heard that you can, like, load into a game from there. It's a pretty chill place. Maybe if you're just, like, if you're just wanting to chill out and still play Fortnite but not have to deal with any competitiveness. That's also why Creative, our next topic, is so good. Creative mode is one of the best additions to Fortnite, in my opinion, just because if you can't handle the loot pool or if you can't handle all the sweats, just go into creative, make your own loot pool, and face whoever you want. Just invite some friends um, and just play with them. There's endless possibilities, and I think it's great for YouTubers, so there's a lot of content to be made. And I feel like a lot of YouTubers feel like there's not enough content because Battle Royale isn't getting as much. But why don't they just try out creative, am I right? Like, creative has so much possibilities for content. Make hide and seek, make prop hunt, make um, PvP arena, make some, make, remake some Minecraft maps, like droppers, do anything. And you can get content out of it. I think Fortnite is having too many collabs. I like the, that we're having collabs, but... Please, please, please just make it like Chapter 1 collabs where it's just a few item shop skins. Just don't change the map and don't change the storyline or the whole theme of a season based off of a collab. Just make it a few item shop skins. Maybe like the Star Wars thing had an event to it. That was pretty cool from what I heard. I wasn't actually there for it. Um, I heard that it was a boring event, but at least we got an event. I just don't like how Deadpool is literally a big part of the storyline. It changed the whole season. And, it, like, what about, like, when Star-Lord and Black Widow came out? That was when it was just item shop skins. Or when we had an LTM, so it didn't change the whole map. It just changed the map and an LTM. So... That's what they should do, like, have, like, the Deadpool yacht and everything in an LTM and have, like, some sort of Deadpool-type um, game mode. That would be really cool f from what I think. Also, if Thor is the secret skin next season or Wolverine, that would just be awful because if the Fortnite's going too commercial, it kind of loses its identity. I, f uh, I think I agree with what... Um, a YouTuber I watch, I talk Fortnite, says that Fortnite's losing it, its identity to a lot of the commercial kind of side of Fortnite. I think the secret skins should be secret, and I think the secret skins should be related to the storyline. Maybe have something to do with the event. I'm so grateful that Deadpool didn't have anything to do with the event last season, and I hope Aquaman doesn't have to do with anything in the event this season if there is an event and i just really don't like all the collabs unless it's just like a chapter one collab or it was just an item shop skin next thing i'm going to talk about is skin concepts which i've made a few i really love art so art and fortnite two of my favorite things put them together and bam skin concepts i think that fortnite should either have a bundle of skin concepts or a battle pass skin which is just a skin concept each season that would be really cool or maybe every week like you know how they had black manta and captain america and the special offers in summer um the summer event skins i think that's what they should do every single week or two or every single month you should have a skin in the special offers which is a concept skin that would be really cool i like that idea so Tell me if that's a good idea in the comments below. Moving on to our next topic, we're going to end off this podcast by talking about my channel. This doesn't have anything to do with Fortnite, so if you are only here for Fortnite, click off the video. But if you want to hear a little bit of my channel, just keep watching and um, 
leave a like and comment down below. So, my channel. I haven't had a lot of content coming out recently. Uh, that's mainly because I thought making three videos in one day would be an excuse to take a little break from grinding out content. That was a big day from YouTube because I had three videos come out. I premiered one, I scheduled the other, I uploaded them on my computer instead of doing it on my phone. So it was a lot more work, but it paid off. Definitely those videos did pretty well. I'd say that was pretty average for my channel. The montage did pretty well. I got um got a new subscriber from it. That's cool. Uh, if you, you know who you are, uh, you left a nice comment on my video. Thank you for that. The last to leave pool challenge <laughs> is an ancient video on my channel that never came out. The last to leave pool challenge lasted for 11 to 12 hours. I forget. We were in the pool for about three and a half hours, but then a storm came, so we had to go inside. So what we did is we made a little circle inside and then we sat in that circle for like seven, eight, nine hours. I don't remember. I think it was eight hours. We got to a point where it's like, it's so late. We're just going to tie it and continue it in a little bit. But then I got my new phone. So all my uh, content, I mean, all my videos for that, that I've been recording were on my old phone. And I didn't really want to go through the effort of putting them onto my new phone. But if this video gets we'll make a huge goal if this video gets 25 likes in a week from now that's a huge goal never got it before but if it does i will try to make the pool challenge mark my word for that and if it doesn't work out that's fine but 25 likes i have 62 subscribers so if like a little portion of you one third of you just like the video i should be close to 25 likes and that will just show me that you guys are liking the content. Also, I think maybe um, a podcast with Potato Baca it was in the making a while ago, but we had a lot of technical difficulties and confusion about some of the things we had to do to get it to work, and um, maybe we'll get it in the future. If you want that, comment down below. We could do another collab. Or maybe he could come on this Fortnite podcast. That would be very cool. I'd love that. Another thing about my channel, uh, I'm going to be getting a PC for Christmas because my parents are helping me get the PC. I've um, saved up a little bit and I think with the help of my parents, I'll be able to buy a PC by Christmas. And I can't wait. I'll be making the best content. I'll get an Elgato for better 60 FPS videos and 720p. I'll be doing more editing on my computer, more digital art on my computer. It's just going to be a great time, um, but for now, I'm just going to be using my phone still, potentially my Chromebook a little bit, but I can't wait for that. So, 2021, going to be a great year for my channel, hopefully. I don't really know if I have anything else to say about it, um, but yeah, make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any ideas for me to talk about in the next podcast about Fortnite or anything, or if you just have a question for me, leave it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.